Hey there everyone, Friends and Fables just got so much better with Franz 2.0. Now lore actually works and I'm going to show you how it does. And just to show you an example of what lore looks like, this is one page of lore from Audrin Fell. This is the Barrows. I'm going to show you some gameplay on how the lore actually works. Here's a game that I started. Uh, I'm just going to run you through what happened in this game, how Franz takes some of the things that you write and creates lore, memories, all of that stuff. Uh, so first off, this is the working context, and I'm going to go to help here just to explain it. Working context shows all the context that is prepared for Franz each turn, except for at mentioned entities or anything researched after receiving your message. So this is your working context, right? So this is all you can see. Uh, right here, we'll talk about context blocks first. Again, help explains it pretty well. Context blocks are information that you and the research agent can both add to and edit. Use this to pull in additional information about lore, memories, etc. So context blocks, you have a few different kinds here. So I'm going to click add context block just to show you. You have instructions, memories, entities, lore, and miscellaneous. Uh, miscellaneous is anything that doesn't fit in with any of these four. So I'm going to talk about instructions first. Uh, here's an example of an instruction narration header. Include the current location and weather at the top of every narration message. If you look over here, I gave an uh, out of context command to the AI, but I need you to include the location and weather at the top of every message you respond with. Franz added that in and he created this instruction here. So you could tell the AI to do that or you could add it yourself. The next one is entities. Now, if you look at entities, it's characters, items, and locations. As you can see, I have a couple already up here uh, based off of the locations and the NPCs that I've met in the game. And there are a couple that you don't see here anymore. If you look here, I talked to Skelk at the very start of the campaign, and he is not on the entities list. And the reason why is because he had an expired block. You could see your expired blocks and archive blocks, and you could see Skelk Mern was on there before, but the message expired because it was no longer relevant to the current context. Uh, because I'm no longer by Skelk, so I don't need that context added in. And the game naturally expired it over time because it wasn't relevant anymore. Now, if you find that something could be useful again, you could add it back into the working context just by clicking here and changing it to say five turns. And it means that it'll be back in the working context for the next five turns. So I click back here and I see it back here at the bottom, Skelk Mern's Delving Past. So if it ever becomes relevant again, it'll just pop up right here. And that's Entities. Uh, here we have Lore. Lore is very useful. Uh, here's what it says, World Knowledge and Background Information. Lore is whatever Franz searches when he's researching about things. So just to give you an example, here it says Fell Calendar System, and it's still active for some reason, which is pretty cool. So it was running this whole time. The Fell Calendar marks the years starting from the fall of Audrin's Great Club. Audrin is a titan in the lore uh, that fell, and his Great Club is where the city's built into. That says the current year is 1379 Fell. If you take a look here, I asked my first question of this uh, playthrough, what year is it, Skelk? And Skelk answered, it's 1379 Fell. Normally, the AI would never be able to get that. But if you take a look here, if I were to go to Fell Calendar, the AI searched all of the lore that I created and found in the Fell Calendar, the year is 1379 Fell. So what the AI did was it took that and it created working context and added it as a context block to get information to give me a response that was correct. Now you see an example of lore working the way that it's supposed to in Friends and Fables, and it is awesome. Another type of context is memory. Memory is important moments from the campaign. And you can click on these underneath the messages that Franz sends you, and it'll expand for you so you can see what Franz actually sets aside and then adds into the working context. Memories can also be edited and they can also be deleted just like any other context block. The next thing I want to talk about is the plot and the plan. So here we have a plot summary and we have a plan. You could see the basic summary of what's been happening in the game all thrown together right here. This can also be edited just like all the context blocks can be edited. Uh, but uh, the difference between this is plot summary, plan, these don't expire. These sit here permanently and they just change as you play the game. Here's a good summary of the plot. 
It is a high-level overview of the current story arc and major plot points to help Franz keep track of the story. Franz rewrites this on every turn, so this is constantly updating. The plan informs the research agent of what to research and reminds Franz what he's planning to do next. So this helps keep the story in line. So you could reveal it, so I could click here, and this reveals basically what Franz is planning for the story. I can edit it, I could change it, I could tell him what I want to happen, or I could just leave it hidden and then just enjoy the story as it's being created. Lastly is the scene. The scene can't be edited. This will always be the same. Uh, help explains the scene pretty well. It's the current location, characters present, and immediate environment. This is a fixed context based on the current location and structure, and it cannot be edited. If you wish to supply more information, you could always use the context blocks, because that's what this is for. Now don't let this intimidate you. You could play the entire game without ever even clicking on these or taking a look at them. This is just another way to help you as a player shape the environment around you and enjoy the game how you want to enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been helpful. And uh, if you're interested in learning more, I'll add a link to the patch notes in the description so that you can read more about it.